That's right, folks. Don't touch that dial. Soon, coming to BC, the betterages. Hey, look, it's my taco. Well, looks like this is the competition for our house. This house went up the exact same day as ours for the exact same price as ours. But, as you can see, their house is still up for sale and ours is not. Tessa, come on, Bidu. What are you doing? Good day, my friends. Welcome back to Making Clouds with Mudflap. Thanks for joining me here today. Got a little bit of mountain cloud and the solo vaporizer to have a quick little session with you while we explain what's going on with this uh, house sale, shall we say. So we could go from the last video when um, we put up that the house was coming soon. Actually went on the market on Monday. Had a couple people look at or one person looked at it Monday. She came back in the evening and looked at it. A couple people looked at it on Tuesday. Someone was looking at it on Wednesday and the realtor said, hey, we got an offer. We got to meet tonight. So he came by. Girl was by on Monday looking at the house, really fell in love with the place, said it was perfect for her. Nice young lady with a single young lady with a son, so made us feel really good. She bid a little bit over our, our asking price, so we couldn't say no. We're motivated sellers. We're trying to get out of here, and boom, house is sold. Don and Karen are moving to BC on May the 3rd. Bam, just like that. Three days to sell the house. It's incredible. This market is crazy here. We couldn't have couldn't have waited to a better time to try and sell our house. It's in the spring. Things are rocking and rolling. We were under three hundred thousand dollars, and there isn't a lot of homes in this town that are under that price now. That are of our age of a home. Most of them are at that price are a lot older. So it moved very quickly. Sometimes it makes you wonder if you put it up for enough in the first place but realistically uh, we were motivated and we got more than we were expecting for that so hey win-win for everybody but last week as you can see we were uh, displaced a couple times from the home and and we were just quite happy to have it done so quickly so we didn't have to deal with that anymore we did have a little get, get together with my work friends or people I work with and, and past and, and uh, present at uh, Butterfly's house last week and man I gotta say I'm gonna miss a lot of these people uh, heartfelt feelings and uh, just moments of sadness and joy but I'm gonna leave you a little shot of what I did with my Evo, now that everything's kind of backed up and put away, you can take a look at that while I get out a couple of gifts that were given to me by my good friends to share with you. Got this nice Pelican case to carry my Evo around in to take to parties and that while we're getting ready for our little get togethers and go aways with all our friends. And I thought uh, I need to, to have this in a case to take cross country anyway, so I got this Pelican case for the Evo and set it up rather nicely to hold everything. As you can see, we've got a little bit of the diamonds and sauce in there for emergencies, of course. We've got the Evo itself, we've got our, our nails. This is the uh, Medtainer grinder with our, our uh, screens in there, our baskets. We've got our two hydro tubes, the cord, and of course our wonderful holder for the tubes and said baskets and nails so yeah that's a fancy nice little case that i got that to go in and keep her out of the way and keep her nice and clean so coming to a town near you so first off is this wonderful serving tray that a friend made for me now this was a gentleman who is in the hardware industry that i've worked with and uh well worked with for probably 10 years and then um competition for the rest of the time so uh, he retired six months ago uh, at 60 and he is making doing woodworking and, and hobby stuff and poker tables and that but look at this freaking serving tray I kind of joked around when he gave it to me it's like oh new rolling tray but uh, seeing as most of my ex-co-workers are not smokers like myself 
kind of, uh, I don't know, that didn't go over quite as well. But I do appreciate when somebody hand makes a gift like that. It means so much. We've got a survival guide, too. We've put that away. And I got this. It was one of those eco fans, those heat-powered stove fans. Um, the ones that move from obviously the heat of your wood stove. These are very expensive. Freaking awesome gift. Can't believe we got it. Well, I can't believe we got it, but I'm just really stoked that one of my friends freaking actually went out of their way to make sure we have one of those. And lastly, is this wonderful little thing here. It's called a Joy Candle Powered LED Lamp. And it's just this little house here. It's powered by a tea candle. One tea candle, a little heat element in there, heats it up in this LED light. Which I seen there, I'm not gonna take it out of the box, but is really, really bright. It's, it lifts up, kinda moves around, but they're made in Martin, Ontario, so it was a very thoughtful gift from somebody. That's just freaking awesome. I can't believe uh, the support I'm having from my friends. So that's nice, and as you can see, I got my new Mike Austin, uh, Longwoods Trail Tattoo Shop uh, long sleeve shirt on. Just happened to have the short sleeve ones here too, which I think are really cool because his shop is on Highway 2, so he's used the Queen's Highway 2 symbol and called it Longwoods Trail Tattoo. Freaking awesome. Played hockey this morning because it is Sunday. I have two weeks left of my season. Um, great support for my freaking. My uh, guys at hockey have sold about 46 tickets for my jersey draw, jersey raffle draw. And uh, I'd say probably 40 of them were from the guys from um, hockey and their friends and, and, and family that have, have supported me. So thanks a lot. That fucking means so much for me. So one of the guys I play hockey with is the old police chief from uh, London. And uh, he came up to me today and said... Well, I guess that's the last time I'm going to have to play play hockey uh, against you. I, uh, thanks for everything. I really appreciate the times we've had, and you know, I'll, I'll wish all the, all the best for you. And that meant a lot coming from from Tony. Um, yeah, being the type of person I am, and my hobbies and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it uh, was really heartfelt and, and felt pretty pretty neat, I must say. Oh, what else do we got going on? Yeah. So, other than that. Yesterday, we, seeing as we knew the house was sold, not that we weren't going to do some of this stuff anyways, but the dump is open on Saturdays now here in Strathroy, so I decided to tear some stuff down outside and in the basement. I'm trying to turn this thing up a little bit. And, um,. I took, tore the dog house down that was out there the picnic table got shit from downstairs stuff from under the deck so it took a huge load to the dump That's the first time I've taken the cover off. There's my outlet. Let's get this thing loaded. <coughs> hey Tessa, Tessa. Hey Tessa, Tessa. Teddy boy. Oh, you got under the tire, huh? Come on, wild man. Get out there with the Tessa. Flowers are coming up. House is sold. Memories. Found some other stuff when I was cleaning up. Oh, I'm almost out of battery here too. I better change that. My beer beer bottle collection. The London Knights from their uh, records when they won the Memorial Cup in 2003. And Sidney Crosby. My Bob and Doug Red Cap Stubbies. A Harley Davidson can from Daytona Beach 1992. <laughs> And uh, a beer bottle from the Yankee Stadium when I went there for the Jays' last stand at the last Yankee Stadium. So, finding memorabilia all over the freaking place. I get to finally use my sledgehammer. 
But yeah, that's Tote City, my friends. Got a few things to sell and a few things to salvage and a lot of things to smash. That corner will be cleaned by today down to the dump. Had a great idea. <laughs> Trusty old sledgehammer. You know what? It would be hard to swing this thing 100, 200 times. <laughs> One smashed with the sledgehammer and she kind of fell apart. So, onward and upward. Smash it, Karen. Throw it down, smash it. No, not Karen. All right, truck is loaded. Got a whole bunch of shit from the basement. The wall unit, the dresser. We've got the doghouse from out back. We've got the picnic table. we got stuff from under the deck. She's a pretty full load. I don't think, uh, well, I know I haven't loaded the truck up before, so she's, uh, she's sitting low on the ground. All right, Taco, I love having a truck. This is our dump. <laughs> Been a nice eventful day, getting lots of stuff done, and the last load for the day. Three boxes of Daniel Steel books. And the horse that makes Karen emotional every time. That's why she's sitting in the car. This, for some reason, getting rid of this has been the worst thing of all. This was given to Karen and me, well, Alex actually, for his first birthday from Karen's dad. It's a cabinet maker and made this wonderful rocking horse for her. And it just brings back the most memories for her. I mean, too, kind of. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Are you okay, baby? My horse. <laughs> Stupid horse. Uh, nice and get that cleaned up and try to get some things together for the moving company that comes in Tuesday to give us a quote on everything. So, yeah, we'll be heading out on the third or so, roughly around there. Got a couple stops along the way. It's about a 48, 50 hour drive, so we'd like to do it in three days, but it's probably gonna be five, honestly, unless we do four 12 hour days, long days. Like I said, I do have a friend to see in Northern Ontario, I'll probably stop in the old Roddy in Manitoba, and maybe a brother in Edmonton. We'll see who's uh, willing to uh, partake in a little session with the mud flapper on the way through, so. The only thing I really have left to share with you this week is my dear sweet wife Karen got a tattoo a couple weeks ago. my face so nobody knows that I'm doing color. <laughs> <laughs> did it but I guess I'm not supposed to say that because he doesn't do color anymore but he did a special moment uh, had a special moment uh, seeing as it was for my wife and actually did a color tattoo for her so I'm not gonna say the name of the company even though I'm pretty sure you all figure it out if you follow me regularly who actually did the tattoo I'm gonna be finishing things up things are winding down I had to got 
five weeks left to work, so man, times are flying by. I've been using this solo a hell of a lot more recently, uh, just because the Evo has been away and we've been trying to keep the house clean and not smelly and just because of the people coming through. But yeah, it's worked out rather well, I must say. I will have to get the Evo back out, but I have been enjoying using my Solo. It is a handy little vape. I have, I see they have a Solo 2 now, which has probably gone from analog to digital. It'll give you an actual temperature instead of 6 or 5, which I usually have it on. I only turn up to 6 for some reason because it didn't seem to be vaporizing the same this Mountain Cloud. But Flavor City. Anyways, my friends, that's it for today. We got another busy week schedule. We've got some runaround to do in London. We got a few other things to uh, look at. We got to order a, a stove to get picked up, so we've got something there to, to cook on when we get there. And yeah, just get freaking ready for the move. So stay tuned. There's more to come. This ending of our Ontario time is coming soon, and you can watch us wind down, heading hell west. Take care, my friends, and be proud of those clouds. Peace.